Okay. All right. So I guess we're ready to we're ready to start here. And uh, again, thanks for for having us. We are um, we are Pox Party. Uh, I'm John Satram, one of the founders of Pox Party. I'm Ben Syverson. Uh, and we're excited to uh, be here at Nauticon for the uh, sneak peek of some new, exciting uh, artware applications and uh, artistic productivity softwares that uh, we'll uh, be announcing here today. Um, first up, actually, uh, first up, I just kind of want to ask people uh, about their choice of operating systems. I see a couple different types of computers in here, but who's who's running uh, uh, Linux? To, you know, today. A few of us, okay. Windows, people running Windows, okay, a few. Uh, Mac OS, a few, okay. Uh, there's probably a lot more like mobile devices around now, right? So there's like, there's some mobile operating systems, maybe uh, iOS and Android stuff floating around. Um, is anyone using SOS? I know, I know you guys aren't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, in 2010, Ben and I uh, uh, built an operating system for the iPad. Uh, called SOS, um, and is the first, the world's first Easter egg operating system. What else do we call it? We call it the uh, first problem-based operating system. First glitch-based, yeah, glitch-based, problem-based operating system. Um, and it and it was uh, it was a big success. It kind of you know made some ripples, right? What yeah, I think it started to make a ripple. We uh, here's the user base. <laughs> uh, that, that has, uh, you know, uh, been over the last few years, we see a decline. Um, you don't see the other operating systems that I mentioned in here, um, because those at the time were being um, uh, measured in the uh, hundreds of thousands, um, and this is just in the tens or the ones. Um, and now we see we've kind of gone down to 2013, and that's for a number of reasons, right? Yeah, so we didn't work well in the walled garden, um, but we knew that our ideas were solid. So we just had to find a better way to connect with our customers. So we took it back to, uh, to the, the, the drawing board, like literally. Um, we started thinking about what is it that inspires us, right? As, as humans, right? As people. Um, and how can we leverage that? So we tried to learn about great art. What inspires people, right? The cave paintings. Just making a, a direct mark, you know, using your hand or using a brush. Able to, yeah, able to, able to convey meaning and feeling through this. Uh, you know, uh, Michelangelo's Pieta, right? Like the, 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 the solidness, you know, the smoothness, the, the emotional properties of this piece of one stone. Right. You know, Van Gogh, the expressiveness, uh, just being free, kind of letting it Letting it go, not being so precise. Almost like it's painted in like a fit of inspiration. Exactly. Right? And like, and then you know, we have Jackson Pollock, right? Just, just kind of letting it all, letting it all out, spewing it all over the place, and and and, uh, you know, in embracing a good way. randomness. Yeah. You know, and chance. These, so. all of these examples, right? Even it spans, you know, hundreds of millions of thousands of years uh, of 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 humans uh, being inspired, right? Um, and, and, it's, and these, it can be summed up in emotion, feeling, and passion, right? That's right. But today, we have, in contrast, right, this, right? We've got squares and rectangles and bootstraps and grid systems and boilerplates and libraries and presets and rubrics and best practices, right? That kind of make us, uh, it, 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 it stifles that, right? Wouldn't you say? Exactly. So, so, yeah. Yeah. In, in 2008, we released Satramizer for iPhone, and that's when we learned the power of touch. You know, the, the idea of a touched UI, you know, like a... Right. Like, like an, touching, though. But like, like it, well, like emotionally like, touching, and but also... It, but it's a touch, but it's not touching. Yeah, so like you touch it, when it's it touches, bit, it, uh, yeah. it gets... Well, well, you so get, that's not you what, what we mean. Saying. So... So we wanted to basically create tools that would allow you to have that expressive feeling. Right. Really and, open it up. Break and, out of the box, if you will. So we'd like to demo a couple of those with you today. Uh, the first one up is called Interface Painter. Um, it's an uh, expressive UI design tool. Um, and I think I have it open there. Okay. Uh, New document. Ben's going to create a face document here. OK, and what you'll notice is I've got this blank canvas, right? And if I just start painting, 
I've got these, you know, check boxes. So this is a new way to create an interface. Can you imagine it's a not form that looks like, you know, that is, is created in this? <laughs> what you're actually telling your users is that we have feelings, we have emotions, we're, we want to convey uh, what this is all about. Not, not just you are inputting data. <laughs> you know, like maybe just one cancel. Right, oh, but you can also tweet from inside the app, right? That's right, we've got Twitter the integration buttons. built in. Yeah. And those are all you know? buttons. It looks kind of 3D, but they're all buttons. Yeah. Let's see what else. We've got, you know, color wells. Those are helpful. You know, you can choose colors. When they have color in them, that one's A couple black. different ones. Yeah, yeah that go. one's nice. The nice thing also is about this, you see this canvas, and one of the things that you can do on computers is resize canvas. It's a lot harder in the real world. Um, but this is fully responsive, so it builds got responsive, responsive designs built in. Um, you know, day one. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, also, speaking of like Pollock, we showed Pollock. There's a random function. Right. So depending on uh, if you kind of are having a day where you don't know w where you want to start in your design process, um, you can start off with maybe kind of splattering some paint or interface elements. Right. Um, but so. You know, we talked about the walled garden. Uh, the other exciting thing about Interface Painter is that it's a power tool and allows you to print to anything. That's literally. right. Print to everything, really. Everything. Yeah, sorry, I got the branding wrong there. So, OK, our native file is called a face file. You could save that. I'm going to save this as, let's see, this is great. Yeah. But if I go to print to, I can now print to HTML. Let's do that. Let's do great. HTML. Now I'm going to switch. And here we go. All right. Boom. HTML5 built in. Right. OK, and by leveraging that, you can actually print to an iOS app. So I could do that. I'm going to do great iOS. Mm -hmm. This is ready for the App Store. That's right. <laughs> Literally. Open it up. This is a this is a, an artware uh, building toolkit, right? So it's, it's it allows uh, for people to create these expressive uh, interfaces and then distribute them too. Okay. I've got all my indicators. So. Get it going. It's a very laborious process here, <laughs> launching something. Here we go. Just thinking about it. There we go. There's the interface app. All right. Available on the phone. iOS integration built uh, in. We also support, do you want to bring up the, the website real quick, our, our website? Because we support a lot more. Um, uh, formats and platforms. Um, again, Ben said the walled garden didn't suit us. Uh, we, um, oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> OK. Uh, I'm right. Uh, the walled garden didn't really uh, suit us because you know we were using, we built the glitch-based operating system on Apple's uh, iPad. They didn't really uh, like the idea of an operating system that looks glitchy. So we should keep moving because we, right. we only have OK, time. OK. So we're going to move on to Let's just let's go into the, the, the second part of this suite of tools. Okay. Um, is uh, Satomizer online? And oh, we might, we need, yeah, might actually need to be online. To we do might that. need to be online because this is a cloud-based solution for any artist that's looking to do uh, glitch-based work, or or we also integrated uh, Interface Painter into um, Satomizer online, also known as SOL. Here's SOL. Ben's going to do a little demo. OK. So I'm going to open up an image. And what should I open? I don't know. These are all GIFs. If you go up the directory, you'll get some JPEGs. It's called right. JPEGs. JPEGs? It does support lossy and lossless mode. I heard someone say PNGs. Maybe that's your favorite glitch. There's uh, uh, the ability to, to glitch uh, you know, in, in lossy mode and lossless mode. So yeah, right if I switch there. over to lossless, changes the compression, ping mode, paint, 
gl uh, glitches. And this is, this is a brush that's glitching the data right below it, right? Right. We can also play it back, if it will play back. It's recording everything you do, like everything else online. <laughs> <laughs> and the great thing is we also support our face files. So if I go, let's see, take our, our grate, drop this in, maybe. I think about it. <laughs> Well, maybe not. Maybe if I print to Saturmizer online. There, there we, we go. So now we're able to load things from uh, Interface Painter into SOL. And continue printing, even outside the canvas. This is, this is a situation where a bug it becomes a feature, right? <laughs> and then that's all playback. You can play that back. That's right. Possibly. There we go. Well, and we, have, we only have a couple more minutes left. So, that's right. Uh, uh, this stuff is, you know, we're, we're announcing it here today at Nauticon. Another thing that we want to announce uh, today is, is sort of the glue the stickiness between all of these. We've got the uh, proprietary Pox Party formats. Uh, Saturmizer Online also supports other uh, artware formats and but, arbitrary formats. But these are all files, right? Yeah, these are all files. And, and, and who even, what internet user knows what a file is anymore, right? Nobody uses files no one or uses thinks files. about them anymore online. They're just like button, push, do thing. Uh, so we've developed a technology called Sneeze. And uh, Sneeze, is the, the, yeah, we can pull this back up. Um, Sneeze allows users to uh, transfer uh, and through vertical integration of all of our products, uh, uh, sneeze things uh, to each other, um, including the project. So uh, the uh, Saturmizer Online project, those are like JSON, right? So the, 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 you can send that in a sneeze. Um, that will come to someone's uh, sneeze account and they'll be able to retrieve it and see it, edit it, play it back. All the things that you saw Ben doing, they'll have uh, the Yeah, if you're working with collaborators or if you just need to send somebody, you know, an example, uh, yeah, send it to your boss. You could tweet a sneeze to your new media gallery if needed. Uh, and you could sneeze back and forth with, Sneezing uh, back and with forth. A, like a team. In a um, cycle. The other great, the great thing is that it's completely free and it'll be launching this spring, uh, just in time for allergy season. <laughs> and, uh, but it's an exciting data, you know, like, there's, there's some exciting potential with this. Definitely. So let's take a look back. What have we shown you, right? We've shown you Saturmizer Online, the world's most advanced online glitch software, period. period. John, you, uh, an application that allows you to paint interfaces as expressive and as beautiful as you are, Interface Painter. Everything from HTML5 to BlackBerry, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, you can print to BlackBerry. Uh, and we also showed you Sneeze, or mentioned Sneeze, uh, and the Sneeze capabilities throughout the product line. And what it comes down to, though, is it comes down to creativity. I mean, this is where all this stuff came from. Uh, we, we wanted to see what we could do to help move these animal bodies through time with computers. Because this is what changes things, creativity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think there's time for questions, but uh, we're around.